GS UASA are the world's number one battery manufacturer for industrial, automotive and motorcycle applications, with a global turnover in excess of $3 billion and over 12,000 employees engaged in manufacturing, sales and distribution on five continents. Our batteries are the preferred choice of vehicle and motorcycle manufacturers worldwide and are fitted as OEM parts to the majority of marks. Although a battery may have been correctly charged and installed, it still needs to be maintained to deliver peak performance. Unlike cars, most motorcycles, boats and other watercraft, utility vehicles and ATVs are not used on a daily basis. When a battery is not in regular use, it will naturally discharge. Additionally, temperature and electrical accessories will also drain charge. Left unchecked, without regular maintenance, this can permanently damage the battery and void the warranty. For more information on the self-discharge of a battery, consult the UASA Technical Manual. To avoid warranty and replacement claims, it's important to advise your customers on how to get the best out of their battery. It's recommended that customers are made aware that monthly maintenance is essential to maintain the battery's warranty and required for both conventional and sealed batteries. This includes regular checks to make sure the top of the battery is clean and dry, inspecting the battery terminals, connections and cables for corrosion or damage, and ensuring all the connections are tight. The outer case should also be checked for cracks or signs of leakage. The routing of the vent tube on conventional batteries is correct and unobstructed. For conventional batteries, the electrolyte levels should also be monitored using distilled water to top up cells as required. Clearly explain the need to maintain a full charge in all types of batteries in order to avoid any damage that may be caused by the self-discharge process. UASA have a range of accessories and battery chargers available which can maintain the battery in peak condition. If the vehicle storage period is going to be long term, the battery should be removed from the vehicle. In addition, the electrolyte levels and charge should be maintained throughout the storage period. If you suspect a problem with a battery, there are two easy and reliable ways to check its state of charge. The first is a hydrometer test. For conventional batteries, a hydrometer measures the specific gravity of the electrolyte inside a battery. There are two types of hydrometers, calibrated float and floating ball. To test the battery, insert the hydrometer into one of the filler ports, draw out some electrolyte and take the reading off the hydrometer and compare it to the chart in the UASA technical manual. Test each cell individually. If any cell falls out of the specified range, charge the battery and retest each cell. If after charging any cell still fails to meet specifications, the battery must be replaced. The second test is a DC volt test. This can be done either unloaded or loaded. To perform an unloaded test on a conventional battery, connect a DC voltmeter to the battery and note the reading. Compare the reading with the chart in the UASA technical manual. If the voltage is below a full charge, charge the battery, then recheck the voltage. When checking a sealed battery, it must stand unused for at least four hours after charging in order to stabilize. Once stabilized, check the voltage with a voltmeter. If the voltage is below 12.4 volts, the battery needs recharging. To perform a loaded test on either type of battery, connect the voltmeter to the vehicle's battery with the engine off. Turn on all the lights and check the reading on the meter. A 12 volt battery should have at least 11.5 volts with the lights on. If the voltage is below this level, recharge the battery. Alternatively, there's a high rate discharge test. This test uses a special device to apply a load of three times the battery's ampere hour rating. After applying the load, measure the battery's voltage. A conventional 12 volt battery should have 12.4 volts, and a sealed type battery should have 12.6 volts. If voltage drops below 11.5 volts during an unloaded test, specifically on a sealed battery, and the battery will not accept a charge at a normal rate, increase the charging voltage to a maximum of 25 volts for 5 minutes. If after 5 minutes the amp meter on the charger shows that the battery is drawing current, decrease the voltage to standard level and charge the battery for approximately 20 hours. 
If the battery fails to draw current after 5 minutes at the high rate of charge, the battery needs to be replaced. For more information on battery charging, consult the UASA Technical Manual. There are also a range of automatic battery testers available to test the condition of a battery. To ensure accurate results when using an automatic battery tester, always follow the manufacturer's instructions. There are variables to consider when charging a battery, including its existing state of charge and type of charger being used. Always refer to the charging instructions that came with the battery if they're available. If no instructions are available, the safe rule of thumb is to charge the battery at one-tenth the rated capacity for three to five hours. When charging a battery, ensure the charger is turned off before connecting to the battery. Always connect positive to positive and negative to negative. When charging a conventional battery, loosen the filler caps and make sure the vent tube isn't kinked or blocked. If the battery feels excessively hot during charging, stop charging it and let it cool.